years under Ashiwaji's astute guidance, Lagos became financially viable and autonomous of the federal government. Lagos was attracting new investments in diverse sectors on a daily basis despite the depressing national economic climate. Upgrading of the buildings and facilities in the Lagos State University Teaching Hospital, Lasuf, to world-class grade. Expansion and rehabilitation of old general hospitals in Lagos, Bagada, Ekbe, Ikorodu, Badagri, Agege, and the island maternity. I've converted the liability confronting Lagos to asset of great value. Along with Zumban, by the way. We used to pick dead bodies. People had forgotten truck pushers in those areas. You have dirtiest coastal line along, you know, Ozumba, by the way, all through Lake I brought private investors, hospitality. Now, they created the boat club civic center that is of great value to, to, to many people today. That was a refuse dump. Nobody easily will remember that. Oriental Hotel was a refuse dump. Miles, you know, of refuse along that corridor. It took several months of excavation and great investment for those investors to take the risk. The majority of those assets they claim are mine, are not mine. I create economic path, a recovery path for Lagos. There's no state that can brag, brag of the exponential development that is going on in Lake Corridor today. Construction of 6,000 housing units such as the Abraham Adesoya Estate, Aja, Ibeshe Low Income Housing Scheme, Oba Adeyinka Oyekon Estate, Leki, Ayongbure Phase 2, Ikorudu, as well as the OK Eletu and Okoaba Low Income Housing Schemes, among others. The modernizing idea of BRT system initiated by the visionary Ashiwaju Bola Ahmed Tinubu's administration was sustained by the Akiwumi Ambode administration, which initiated the construction of a massive, ultra-modern, multi-layered park for bursas in Oshodi. It is consistent with a master plan conceived by Ashiwaju Bola Ahmed Tinubu to make public transport system in Lagos not only more pleasurable, but also at par with the experience in advanced countries. The idea of a light rail project for Lagos State was originally conceived by the first civilian governor, Al Haji Latif Jakonde, in 1983. It was to be called the Metro Line. However, the project could not be consummated before the civilian administration was terminated by the military coup of 1983. When he took over as governor of Lagos State, Ashiwaju revived and expanded the idea to not one, but seven light rail projects in Lagos State to reduce the over-dependence on road transportation and to reduce traffic congestion in the state. The 27-kilometer Lagos Blue Line Rail Mass Transit will run from Lagos Marina to Urilegomo, to Mile 2, to Okokomaiko, and ultimately down to Badagri. It will commence commercial shuttles in January 2023. The red line, which was started from scratch by the Babajide Sonwolu administration, will run from Agbado to Lagos Marina and will come on stream later in the first quarter of 2023. The Lekki Corridor has become the toast of real estate investors and the preferred location of mega industrialists. Lekki today boasts of the Dangote Refinery and Fertilizer Plant worth over 19 billion US dollars, the Lekki Free Trade Zone, Lekki Deep Sea Port, amongst others. One man envisioned all this about 20 years ago. The man is Ashiwaju Bola Ahmed Tinubu. In 2006, he conceived an idea to develop some parts of Lekki Peninsula into a blue-green eco-friendly environment. This was to become the new industrial hub of Lagos. To make it attractive to local and international investors, it was to have the status of a free trade zone.
His successor, Babatunde Fashola, continued the project and Governor Kimumi Ambode gave the project attention. The present governor of the state, Babajide Sawolu, is following the footsteps of his predecessors and today, the Lagos Free Trade Zone is not only contributing to the economy of Lagos State, but also Nigeria's GDP in general. But the story of Dangote fertilizer and refinery will be incomplete if we don't put the history to proper perspective. The idea around having a free zone in the Bejuleki area was conceived by our leader, Shuaji Bola Chinubu. And I was with him in 2003, 2004, when we took a trip to China and we're trying to conceive a free zone. And today here, this free zone is not only home to the largest fertilizer in Africa, but will certainly be home to the largest refinery, a single refinery in the entire world, you know, come later in this year. Initiation despite stiff opposition by the federal government of the first successful independent power plant, IPP, by any state government, generating 260 megawatts of electricity from Ikorudu to the national grid. Completion of such abandoned projects like Teslim Balogun Stadium and the new government house at Alausa, as well as finding permanent solution to the erosion and perennial flooding of the Bar Beach by constructing an enduring shoreline defensive barrier. You must give credit to my predecessor. He was the one who started the protection of the Bar Beach. What the federal government used to do was to come and pump sand, 4 billion naira every year, and the sea will wash it away. And you can imagine how many four billions they have spent years and years until we said, no, there's a better solution to this thing. Before we did that thing, every year that it rained, flood used to reach NTA. NTA used to flood. NTA has not flooded for the last seven years that I have been here because that solution is working. What I set out to achieve for myself, I'm achieving it. I'm achieving success. I'm, a, I'm an architect. A builder and a developer bunch into one. The architecture of the vision in public sector governance. I know it very well. We do it in celebration of a man who has spent the last 30 years of his life in creative and catalytic public service. He has from his days as governor of Lagos State, provided clarity of thought and vision, pioneering vision in all aspects of governance. And I believe that our country has been gifted by this great transformative leader, Ashiwaju Bola Ahmed Inubu. Ashiwaju is widely known as political strategist. Strategy is better are less wedded to a higher purpose than just itself. Here, Aswaju also sets himself apart. I have come to see him as a man who cares about people and who is a fountain of ideas for economic of the common man and woman. He is a true humanitarian and we appreciate his contributions to Nigeria's and African progress. The continuation of Tinubu's outstanding policies makes Lagos State an exceptional and the foremost government in Nigeria. I left it better than I met it. This is the man, Ashiwaju Bola Ahmed Tinubu, a leader among leaders the irresistible force behind the movement for change in Nigeria.